All right, you guys. So first of all, we're making progress on this room. It used to be really bad. I know it still looks bad, but we've gone about halfway through this room. This is going to be our playroom for our daughter. So um, this has to get cleaned out. We're going through it. Um, my mom has been helping me sell a lot of my stuff on Poshmark because it's like brand new stuff in those boxes, like brand new stuff that I bought from like Dolls Kill and stuff. It's not that I don't want it. It's like either it doesn't fit me or I just don't have room for it. <laughs> so, um, yeah, follow me on Poshmark, Trish P88. Um, it is all my clothes. My mom comes and helps me like list it and she helps me send it out, but it's all my stuff. <sighs> not sponsored by Poshmark, but you know, it's pretty, it's pretty, uh, pretty legit. So today we're going to be doing a full face of makeup using Walgreens makeup. I just went to Walgreens and I got L'Oreal. This makeup was expensive and I got Revlon and basically we're recreating, um, Elizabeth Holmes makeup. Um, so, oh, these are like two different... What's the difference? They have different tops, but what is the difference in product? It literally looks like it says the same thing. So I don't know. I guess there's just two different tops to it. Everything was so expensive. I also got powders to match it. And these lipsticks were like $13. Oh my God. I thought drugstore makeup was cheap. It's not cheap. So I think I'm going to go with the paler look. I'm on the paler side today elizabeth holmes is on the paler side so we're gonna just go ahead and try a drugstore makeup it probably won't be a full face of drugstore makeup because i only got a few things thank god because they were like a hundred dollars and like so i'm pregnant so i have really bad heartburn today and i really don't want to take a tums although i should probably take a tums if i'm filming <sighs> i try and avoid taking tums until it's like last minute resort like i can't even take it anymore and it's actually a bad day i probably should take it but anyways i don't know how you actually like i haven't put i haven't really bad at putting makeup on Shake well before use. Is that normal? Using fingertips or applicator. Maybe I should be using my fingertips. Not that I don't have nails. Maybe I should be using my fingertips. I don't know. Let's shake it. All right, we'll shake it. So, yeah. Her look is very, very simple, I think. So, I think it's not going to be an issue. I hope it's good coverage. My skin was breaking out so much. I hadn't been doing my makeup because my skin was breaking out so much. Oh, it's going on really nice, actually. It feels good on the skin. I don't know. We'll see. Wow. Um, I'm, like, not mad at this. This was the lightest shade, I think, there, anyways. I don't know. It was, like, soft ivory. It says neutral. But yeah, I'm pretty sure this is soft ivory. Ivory, yeah. Um, so I think this was the lightest shade, which kind of is coming off a little tan on my skin. Um, because I never tan my face. But do you see it in comparison to my ear? Or even to the rest of my face? It doesn't like it's not like a color match, right? It's not it's not bad, but I don't know. It's pretty good coverage for again. A drugstore because I mean I love the Kat Von D lockout foundation for coverage but I think that's what made my skin break out because there wasn't really any dietary changes so I feel like that was like too heavy for my skin but yeah I think this is kind of pretty what do you think I like it I actually really like drugstore products oh see how it covers it covers like really good um like I was using well, I guess I was using it cosmetics, it's not really drugstore, but it's not really like luxury foundation. But luxury skin in general, like I used to like be obsessed with like Chanel face wash, the worst my skin has ever been. Um, and it's also because I have like bad skin in general, so I'm not like blaming the Chanel product. But once I stopped using that and I went straight to dial soap <laughs> for a while, like just dial soap, it actually like helped so much. And then I was on proactive for a little bit, and now I actually use my Trish skin skincare system, like um. The lady who like I was doing the skincare collaboration with, she's really she's a really good friend of mine and she still helps me with the product and stuff like that. Like it sucks that like oh that was a whole thing. It's she got like we're like really good friends and we're really, you know, we're we're good and stuff like that. But she was getting so much hate on her business, which is, you know, her livelihood and stuff like that, um, for being like associated with me and stuff like that. And she just was like and she, she was always reassuring. She was, you know, like, you know, it's, it's like not you. She goes, it's just like the hate is like real. And most people can't deal. Like, of course, like the hate I got last year 
I'm going to say it was like just really unwarranted. It was really unnecessary. Like, I get it. Like, you really dislike someone. You want to cancel someone. Okay, cool. Like, do that. Like, I've been, I've been down that path before with other friendships that I've had, you know, you know, like years ago, you know? And so where people just get really mad at me and they just don't like me anymore and I get it. But then there, they, there's like the, the extra level where you just start being harassing, like just evil, just nasty, just scary, like showing up to people's workplaces and stuff of people that I know, you know what I mean? That just, that just were associated with me in some way. And it just takes it to another level of, of, it, it, of harassment. And that's what it got down to last year. Like people from our past and stuff like that, that like, we don't even talk to anymore. We're just like being drug up and, you know, doxxed And so it was really, really scary. So I totally understood it. And at the same time, like I didn't want her to have a bad look either, but her skincare lines that she does with other people are really great. And I'm really fortunate that she still, um, you know, helps me with my product because it really did clear my skin. I'm like, you know, hopefully maybe one day I can try and like rebrand it because it was such a good product. It really did. And it got so many like people were doing like false reviews saying their skin was burned. And when I would ask them like, oh, you know, give us the give me the receipt. We'll refund you. Of course. Like we just really want to figure out like what went wrong. When did you order? Like what the badge was. The person like my friend got it for me. Okay, we'll ask your friend for the receipt. Oh, we don't talk anymore. Like it was always like that. And I think it was just a, what one person that gave it like a really bad review because it was just really simple natural products in it. Um anyways, it, it just I don't know. I just went on a tangent for no reason, but yeah, it was, it was, um, you know, like I said, there's, you know, canceling people and being upset with people and like, you know, harassing the person, me involved or whatever. Fine. Honestly, that's, it's not fine, but it's fine. You know, I get it. Um, and then it's just like another level when you just really start doxing people from like both me and my husband's past and stuff. It, it was, it was nasty and it was, it was, it was really, it was really tough. And, um, it's just because it was a different level than I've ever experienced as far as like harassment went. Um, I can take anything towards me, like anything, unfortunately, <laughs> I can get numb to it, but yeah, it gets so crazy. But anyways, let's focus on this. This is like a little more lively. So um, I'm going to put powder on my face. I guess I'll just powder. She really just had powder blush, really black liner and the red lipstick, which is what I went out to get. So and her blush was just, you know, blush, you know, it wasn't like, so I'm trying to think of like a black eyeliner. I don't wear eyeliner. This is an eyeliner right here, Urban Decay. All right, we'll try that out. My nails are wrecked. I've been biting them. Such a bad habit. Okay. So I guess we'll just put this on. I don't know. Costume makeup. I feel like I'm in theater again doing theater makeup. So... I don't know if this is the right brush to use. Like, I can't even tell if the product is, like, getting on my face. Like, I want to be really matte. <laughs> I'm, like, really trying to... This color match actually is pretty good. But, like, I'm not the lightest light, so I'm kind of worried for people who are, like, lighter skin. Because I am pale I'm a pale person but I know there's people with paler skin than I so I don't know maybe they just didn't have it at my Walgreens I went to Walgreens to be authentic oh and I got a little fit right there my hands are so dry I need to get lotion on them before I film um okay so you know I'm gonna just give some Dior blush but you know let's try the eyeliner first let's, let's see how this works so she has a lot of it on the top and it's kind of messy <laughs> So let's see how this works. I've done eyeliner in so long. First of all, I love the way this eyeliner goes on. I'm not worried about it being like uneven because it's kind of messy anyways, the look. You know. Yeah, I don't hate this eyeliner. It's really cream. <laughs> God, I'm not. It's really creamy. Okay. Oh my gosh, that's like so creamy. Okay. Well, it's gonna get a little more smudged. 
I'm looking more like Britney Spears than Elizabeth Holmes, <laughs> which I love Britney, but the black on the bottom. So this is really messy. <sighs> Oh my god. It's so messy. Okay. I don't know. She really didn't have it that dark on the bottom. So... I wonder though if I smudge it. Oh yeah. If I kind of smudge it up here. If it's gonna give that same effect. Kind of, right? Mm. I'm not mad at this. Let me see. My hands are gonna be so dark. Yeah, because it's really messy. It's really smudgy. So now we're gonna smudge. So I don't know. It's kind of giving me the look because, you know, hers was like really messy. And again, I'm kind of going by the Hulu show and not the actual Elizabeth Holmes. <laughs> but yeah. I don't like it. Hmm. Yeah, there we go. Get the smudge. Oh, I smudged too much. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> Hold on. Gotta get a clean finger. <laughs> Went a little too high with the smudge. So, I think the liner on the bottom is just a little too strong, but I have very black fingers right now, so. <laughs> Where's the makeup wipes? Oh no, oh yeah, yeah, okay. It's like, oh my gosh, I need them today. Okay, I think with the red lipstick, people will get it more, but it is kind of. I guess it's kind of scary, which is good. That makeup. It's a very, this is a, this is a really inspiring step forward. It's a really inspiring step forward. <laughs> I'm already getting into the character. Okay. So, yes. Just needs a little blush, mascara, a little bit of brow. And my hair will always be messy, so no worries there. So, get the brow pencil. I think because I just have not a lot of makeup on in this look, I think the brow pencil is necessary. I don't love doing brows. I think they're kind of like boring and not that fun, but. Yes, brows come through. We're also going to be doing a cooking video for my main channel. Because it's like, even though the main channel doesn't like get a ton of views anymore, like it actually has really good CPMs. <laughs> like it actually does make pretty good money. And not to say like I'm all about the money, but you know, sometimes you're just like, oh, why am I doing this if like nobody's watching and I'm not making money, but at the same time I look to a look because I really don't check that channel for money and I'm always like, oh, it makes like kind of good money. So I was like, you know what? And I like doing the cooking videos. They are just like kind of a lot of work to like set up and stuff. You know, I'd rather just cook and not film just because it's like a lot. I wish I just had someone like, help, like film everything for me, but yeah. Okay, now I need a little snack in a minute because I'm getting a little nauseous. <sighs> We'll make it through this though. Love this lash freak. Talk about it in my last get ready with me. The mascara is really gonna help this look. So my eyes don't look too. I have the small world's shortest, smallest eyelashes. And Moses' eyelashes are so freaking long, they always look like they have mascara on them. And just like on their own. Um, yeah. And we're going to really blow out the ASMR so it's like really bright like when she was doing those interviews in front of the white wall. Alright. Okay, okay, okay. I wonder if I should get a snack before I put on my lip. Yeah. Probably. Oh. I think I'm gonna do that. All right. So when we come back, I'm gonna do a little blush, red lipstick, and yeah, I'm gonna get some crackers because I'm feeling a little cheese it. Buy my cracker twice. 
They're light, not very greasy. Enough to settle your stomach. Mm -hmm. A little bit of substance. I'm in a little hurry, that's why we eat them fast. Mm. Mm. These are so good. Mm. Okay, I'm also gonna take a little Tums. I don't know how to fix this. If you watch the vlog, I got the zipper stuck and broken. I always care I'm carrying any Tums. Like I said, I only have one a day. Or no, maximum one a day. I try not to have any. But if I do have one, it's one day. My heart burns really bad today, and I'm about to film, so I'm gonna just take one. And if, if it acts up again later in the day, I don't take any. I gotta say, not on this one, but the one that says don't go over 24. I'm not making it on this one, it just says peel here, but oh yeah. Do not take more than six tablets in 24 hours if pregnant. I have no maximum dosage for more than two weeks. So I've only been taking these for about two weeks. So I'm having a hard one either subside or I just have to like toughen it up. And usually I toughen it up, but today it's a little much, so. All right, back to the glam room. Well, I'm gonna, gonna be downstairs. This is the temporary glam room. Okay. Had some crackers. I actually have a cheese on my teeth. Because mm -hmm. ASMR, you're like oh, up close. Let's see if I have any floss in here. Not that I'm going to floss on camera right now, but. Oh, these have all my butter glosses. Creme brulee and fortune cookie. I love these NYX butter glosses. I just ordered some more. They're like such a pretty, like natural nude color. Um, oh, there is hand cream in there. All right. Okay, okay, okay. So let me focus. So now I feel a little better. I should go brush my teeth again. Um, and then I'm going to do a little bit of blush. I haven't done blush with a brush in so long because I use a NARS liquid blush, but I feel like this is like too pretty for her almost. <laughs> she wears like more of a coral. I don't really have that many blushes. I'm going to do pretty pink. You know what? It's fine. I feel like she wouldn't wear this though, but I mean, it's ASMR. It's not a, you know, exact replication. Replica? Replication. Why is this like not picking up product? Am I crazy? Is it? And I'm just like not seeing it. <laughs> Maybe I just am a crazy person. <laughs> but like, there's a lot of blush on there. Okay, 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 okay. And I know once I have that red lipstick on, I can't. Okay, so I think I did everything. Obviously, I'm gonna put my hair down. But, um, okay, let's, let's see. I have a crayon and I have a lipstick. Part of me feels like the lipstick is more authentic. There was a scene where she was doing her own makeup and she was like lining her lips and then putting on red lipstick. So, I don't know, maybe I could try a little bit of that. But I did want a really red. This is Revlon. Revlon College Day. All right, let's, ooh, this is red. This is a red, red. Okay, let's see. I'm scared. Heartburn is so real today. Okay. I don't know. 
I know it's just so funny. Okay. Dang. <laughs> um, well, it's not a super, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm like confused by it. It looks like a little too glamour. I don't know. I don't know how to feel about this. So maybe I'll fill the rest in with some lipstick. I don't know. I feel like it's a little, like, too glamorous, like, kind of, like, 1920s, like, Chicago, Roxy Hart, Velma Kelly. I don't know. Maybe once I get the turtleneck and the whole love, the whole the whole vibe, then I think it'll be, I think it'll be really impactful. I think we could, like, really change the world. <laughs> I'm going to do a lower, lower voice today for ASMR, too. Switch it up, you know? Okay. Let's see here. Okay. This is so funny. I would like never ever wear this. It actually matches the lip liner. Look, I'm not mad at it. You know, but I don't know. I think it just looks a little too baba boom, but what am I gonna get at this point? I need red lipstick, and this is the red lipstick I'm getting. Okay. Now the hair. Which hair hair is crazy. And I don't know what mine looks like today. I showered and just haven't taken it down. So I'm just going to see what this looks like. Is there a brush right behind me? I don't know. Hmm. Well, here's a flat iron. That's a good start. The brush, the brush, the brush. I'm always losing my brushes down here, always. Hmm. <sighs> Man, I'm gonna have to go upstairs. Dang. Really, bro? I pack it with me? Maybe I did. Oh, no, here it is. <laughs> I look and sound crazy, I know. All right. So, I'm hoping hair's not too greasy because hers was relatively dry. And usually mine gets, looks so dry. But when it gets greasy, it just looks greasy. So, we'll see how this pans out. Okay. The hair doesn't look too bad. I am going to pull it up. I don't know if hers is a side. I think hers is the middle part. Although it was 2007, it might be a side part. I just don't know if it's like that big of a side part. <laughs> it kind of looks crazy like this. I honestly like probably shouldn't flatter it that much. Because I think that's kind of the look. Like if she pulls it back. Should I get the turtleneck on and feel the vibe because I feel like it's kind of frizzy like this you know okay let's go get the turtleneck I'll be back okay so I'm definitely feeling it more with the black turtleneck now okay she definitely had a side part thing happening and she definitely had this like almost like teased brushed back which maybe wasn't teased maybe it just wasn't brushed but she almost had like this part kind of like purposefully brushed back Because mine kind of splits down the middle the whole way. So I'm going to just kind of tease mine back a little bit. Get a little bit of a messier look. I don't know if that's like a thing, but I think it's kind of good to like have it kind of messy. So I, let me see if I have like a little black hair tie. I'm biting my nails again because um, I was getting caught in the turtleneck. I'm sure I have a skinny one. There's a skinny one, kind of. I'm sure that'll hold my hair. Okay. So, hers was definitely this and definitely 
this and then she had this kind of I guess Just kind of go with that and yeah yeah so praying that one to break so she kind of had hers literally was behind her ear with like a little bit you know just a little bit chaotic in the front but it was definitely more of a serve oh my god Oh, I don't even need the flat iron. That's just everything. Right. Yeah, I think this is... <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, God. Every blonde with blue eyes is just like, now this girl. I need my little blood test. And, yeah, that's my that's my makeup Walgreens turning into Elizabeth Holmes. Pretty easy. I'm going to go do my ASMR. Go subscribe to my ASMR channel. Just pay this ASMR. <laughs> But I think this is it. I have a little black blazer. I think I want to do a little photo shoot. I think this looks kind of cute. I don't know. Anyways, let me know what you think. Cosplay, Elizabeth Holmes. Eh. <laughs>